Welcome to the Durango Real Estate Update. My name is Dan Corman, broker owner of Alpenglow Properties, a full service real estate firm located right here in downtown Durango, Colorado. When I did my January recap in February of 2020, exactly one year ago today, I told you that there were more listings on the market than ever before. That the median price for a single family home was around $400,000 for the first time in years and emphatically stated that it was the best time to buy real estate. Well, here's a clip from that video. If you've been thinking about pulling the trigger on something, it's seemingly the right time to call your agent and make that offer. The drops in average and median home prices are most likely attributed to a higher listing inventory, continuously low mortgage rates, a bit of winter stagnation, as well as uncertainty within our geopolitical and economic landscapes. I think we can all agree it's nice to have some normalcy return to the market, but I don't foresee the lag lasting through March as buyers are starting to emerge from their winter activities. My, how things have changed in 12 months. Whether you look at the national or local real estate news, there are only a couple of headlines driving most of the conversations. National housing inventory is at an all-time low. Mortgage rates are at an all-time low. And apparently, you should have invested in GameStop. Well, overall, even our local little real estate market landscape is the complete opposite picture as what I painted in that video shot only 12 long months ago. Fast forward to 2021 and our active listings are at all time lows down 30% compared to the same time last year. We have the highest amount of pending transactions in the history of the MLS for the month of January, as well as a record breaking amount of single family home units sold in Durango year to date as well. If that's clear as mud, simply put, the available housing stock is way down and the number of sales are up with pricing reaching uncomfortable levels in some instances. I'm hoping that over the next couple of months, I'll be able to come on the show and talk about inventory increases that would relieve pressure on pricing. But until then, let's focus on something a little more fun, shall we? How about commercial real estate? Commercial property leasing and sales are important economic drivers for our county and the nation at large. There are many different facets of the commercial real estate market, including but not limited to owner-occupied space, long-term leasehold investments, vacant land, business opportunities for sale with or without the real estate attached, redevelopment, leasing, and the list goes on and on and on. La Plata County's existing market can be broken into four major categories, office, retail, light industrial, and multifamily. The lack of industrial space here in La Plata County is a pain point and has been for a while, and many local entities have been trying to alleviate since Bodo Park was completely absorbed. Given the high demand for space to bring jobs in sectors such as manufacturing, local groups like the Economic Development Alliance have taken it upon themselves to help identify areas that would naturally be a path for growth. One of these areas is La Posta Road, and with the recent acquisition of a 90-acre parcel formerly known as the Carter property, it's looking like some wheels are set in motion for a new industrial park to be redeveloped down the road, hopefully in the near future. Juxtaposed to our near zero feet of industrial and warehouse space available is an abundance of office and retail space. There is around 200,000 square feet of vacant commercial space in La Plata County right now, and that's not including off-market properties such as the building formerly known as WorldPay or several government-owned parcels scattered around the area. These vacancies are creating ripples in the sectors that actually trickle down through small businesses, with one of the hardest hit being the restaurants in our area. So it's anyone's guess as to when we'll be able to find that normal vacancy rate again, but regardless of these points, Durango is extremely resilient, and it's been an incredible path to see locals rallying behind the business community over the last year. I can say with confidence that I'd rather be nowhere else in the world right now as we all ride out the storm together. With amazing opportunities like workforce housing programs, urban renewal authority development projects, and new areas to be developed on the horizon, there has never been a more exciting time to be in real estate in Durango. It's been a pleasure sharing this month and all my past month's real estate updates with you. Please feel free to reach out anytime via email at dan at alpenglowproperties.com or on any of our social media handles at Durango Brokers. Stay vigilant in your house hunts, find that perfect space for your business, and be kind to each other. Thank you for watching.